Hey guys, it's Bald with Usernames here. Apologies for the delay in posting, but um, as mentioned in my last video, I uh, have that kind of a job. It just takes me away from doing this kind of thing. Um, I don't actually do this as much as I like. Um, in response to my last video, um, Latmarzian, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong there, um, put in a request. He'd like to see me play some uh, Ghetto Blaster on the Commodore 64. I've managed to unbury it from the loft. Um, interesting little game. Published in 1985. Programmed by Tony Gibson. Um, music was by Mark Harrison. Very, very unusual game. Um, as you will see when it loads up here. Basically, the upshot is you uh, take control of a character who's running throughout the ghetto with a ghetto blaster, i.e. a very loud stereo, and the idea is to get as many people dancing as you can um, using music cassettes that you pick up from various houses. Once you get the required number of people dancing, you then take that music cassette into um, the uh, music studio, record shop, and then it becomes popular and you go on to the next level. So um, without further ado, let's play. Okay, these are the instructions. I'm sorry about the uh, quality there. I just can't seem to get the uh, video frame rate right for some reason. Um, basically it just explains about the game, how to play it, shows you a bit of a map, what your objectives are. And there is the intro screen, complete with uh, funky background music. Bottom half of the screen, set up to look like a ghetto blaster with a cassette player. Yes, I did say cassette. Uh, volume control on the left, batteries level is on the right, and the top half of the screen is where you play. You start out the game with no tape and no batteries. First thing you need to do is go find an electrical store, and then in this game any cassette tapes that are potentially successful will be indicated by flashing doors. So right opposite the store, that's where you get some batteries. And over here, a flashing door, and there is a cassette. Crank the volume up, and play. Now you just got to go find some uh, street people, aim towards them, press fire, and they will start dancing. And that's your first level done. Now you need to go find another cassette. Worth remembering where all the stores are for repairs, because you do get maniacs in this game that attack you. Ichiku Park, where you can eat the mushrooms. Just like that. Complete with um, facilities. Yes, you do get uh, nutters in this game uh, that attack you, break your stereo uh, completely beyond repair or just break it where it needs repair. You get policemen that arrest you, you get all sorts of things to hold you up. Um, but the most frustrating thing I find about this game is running around trying to find a flashing door with a cassette. You can run around for a very long time just finding somewhere to pick up a new cassette. As you can see, there's one. There's another one. There we go. Now we just need to find some uh, more people. Very odd map this one as well. The first part of it here, the main part, is just one big loop. So as you keep going right or left, it automatically loops up and around in a circle. If you do take one of the side roads there, that cuts the circle um, up and down. Very complicated. Have a look at the quick intro. Have a pause on the quick intro screen I did, you'll see what I mean. 
Yeah, overall, this game is interesting. If they could cut down the amount of randomness on the doors, or maybe make more doors flash, make it a bit faster to play, put a bit more pace into it, you know, I think I might enjoy the game better. But, um, yeah, I, d I do like this game. It's got, for the time that it was programmed, it's it's got some great potential. But it is just so frustratingly slow to play. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, thanks to that Mar Marzian for suggesting this one. It's a um, long time since I've played it. I can understand why I didn't play it so much, what with the slow pace and everything, but yeah, it's quite enjoyable. Your batteries do run down after a while and you have to go into a store and get some more. If your batteries run out in the middle of where you in the middle of where you're trying to get people to dance, then you'll lose all of the people that you've managed to get dancing and you have to start again. Um, if you manage to top your batteries up before they run out, then you can just carry on as normal. So yeah, there we go. That is Ghetto Blaster for the C64. Um, interesting. I'll let this play out. And um, I'll just like to say before ending, um, I've just been on holiday for a few days, got back and found that my subscribers had gone up to 50. Thank you, people. That's much appreciated and not expected at all. I didn't expect to have 50 subscribers to this humble little channel. Uh, no, thanks guys. That's appreciated. Um, I've got something brewing in the background. It's a little hardware project for the Commodore 64. I'm wondering how I can uh, transfer a lot of this onto an emulator. From uh, an original 1541. Well, I will be showing you in the next series of videos. Hopefully, if all goes well. If not, then I'll post a video after this telling you that it didn't go well. <laughs> Anyhow, this has been Ghetto Blaster for the Commodore 64, as suggested by Latmarsin. Again, I'm sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. Um, so I'll let this play out, and uh, see you in the next video.